So hey guys, it's Zyant again, and welcome back to Battle of Duty Rooftop Warfare. I have not been playing this game, or any shooter for that matter. I got back into Dark Souls, and I watched a video that I'll hopefully remember to link in the description called This is Eve 2014 Uncensored. EVE Online is the first MMO I ever played, and if I remember... The first MMO I ever played, I also played Guild Wars 2 briefly, but that game bored me to tears in a way that for some reason EVE did not. Or at least not at first. And I got back into it recently after watching that trailer, because I helped a buddy of mine get into it. You might know him as Wingspan TT. He plays EVE, and we did a blog for a while that unfortunately we've stopped said stop doing. The point being is that I, science fiction is big right now. Titanfall, Call of Duty, Battlefield is doing a little bit of it. Halo, of course, has always been big in the science fiction. Destiny. I want to defend science fiction, but I want to defend it not just because I'm playing EVE again, and not just because Call of Duty is now in the sci-fi vein, or Titanfall is, is popular, or was popular, and then more the battlefield is going back in that direction, I think. I want to defend it because it's an interesting genre. Because it takes our modern world and projects it forward, sees where our logical conclusions might be made as far as our technologies are concerned. Because I think that a lot of what science fiction comes up with the people who make technologies today want to create because we're, it's the geeks, right? The geeks are the ones who read science fiction and fantasy. The, the, the stuffy literary types that don't think science fiction is itself a viable genre are not going to be the ones that are going to go around making the technology of tomorrow. And, and I've heard tell... And I've heard tell of artificial intelligence and robotics and super science and spaceships and all this stuff that you wouldn't find if science fiction didn't exist. Star Wars would not be the genre-defining movie that it was if science fiction wasn't in the common thought realm of importance. And I don't think at the same time that literature would be the place that it is without science fiction, without the snobbery that science fiction engenders, and for good reason, I think, in some cases. There would not be, I don't think, as cult a following of the science fiction genre if there wasn't a snobbery about it. The World of Warcrafts of the world wouldn't look down on the Eves, and the Eves wouldn't look down on the World of Warcrafts if there, if there wasn't that competition. Because Eve, for its own sake, is a very niche market. There's maybe at maximum 40,000 people online at one time where you can go into Guild Wars or World of Warcraft and you'll find millions of people across 50, 500 servers. It, it's mind-boggling the amount of people pour into a fantasy setting but who will eschew like the plague a sci-fi setting. Even something like Dark Souls would not be nearly as successful, I don't think, if it was science fiction based. If the Dark Moon Blade from Dark Souls 1 was some sort of laser buff, I, I can't see people gravitating to it. If Sunlight Blade electrified your sword by enhancing the electromagnetic properties of it, no, it wouldn't work in the same way, and and I'm not going to go into why, because that's a whole other conversation. I could write a book on that. But science fiction is important because it creates the technology of tomorrow, today, but in our imaginations. And I know I'm starting to ramble a little bit, but this is the kind of thing that really gets my blood pumping. The idea that maybe what people are envisioning today is not so far off. I mean, there was a show on the History Channel, for example, that said that was looking at Star Wars technology and was saying, we are not that far from bionic arms like Luke's, Google Glass, contact lenses with Wi-Fi networks. All of this stuff is coming. People are looking at it, and they're looking at it seriously. Which, for me, is why it matters. Because an EVE Online, with its jump drives and its 
cloaking devices on a massive scale and wormhole exploitation. All of this is impossible with current science. It's soft science fiction. But it means that someone is really looking at it, that someone is taking, is thinking that this is possible and that we can, it might take thousands of years, but we'll get there. And, and Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare exists for me because someone at Activision, at Sledgehammer said, what if we took everything that Call of Duty's done and extended it further? It's interesting. It, it, it's something that, that that's important because we're looking at it. Because it exists, because we're, we're, we're just extending what's already happening. Metal Gear has already done it. Black Ops 2 has already done it. It, it. It's just another step in the human condition. That's what science fiction is to me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, this rambling commentary. I'll see you on the next one, guys, when I hopefully I'll have more my head on straight with the topic.